Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Middle School Math Survival Guide. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi fellow mathematicians, welcome to 6th grade mathematics. And here for middle school math, we're going to be working on how to add and subtract decimals. Here's some of the math vocabulary that you may come across. Decimal, add, difference, sum, order of operations, explain. You have to explain your answer. Average, evaluate, estimate, or create an estimate. Make an argument. Now, some may be saying, hey, wait a minute, Mr. Woods, I've already learned how to add and subtract decimals. Well, math is a spiral learning process because you start getting into more complex ways of adding, subtracting, or the numbers are larger, or in this case, you may have more decimal places and such. So you re review, build, and solidify our understanding of mathematics. Let's look at number one. First, look up here, it says estimate, then find the sum or difference. Always look to see if there's like some overriding thing that you need to do first, or this could be instructions. So here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to estimate first. So I'm looking at this, and then I'm going to have the answer here. So 2.3 plus 5.68 plus 21.047. So I can say that you know, this is close to 2.5. Let's say this is uh, close to 5.7 and 21, because it's I'm just looking at that there. So let's say it's instead of 2.5, let's say 2. Point, just 2. So 2 and 5, that's 7.7. .7. And then I have 21 here, 7.7. .7. So let's say 28.7. Let's boop, bump it up to 29, just to be safe. So I'm gonna just gonna do 29.0. That's my estimate. I love having this grid here because then I could sit down and look at this and say, well, I have tens there, I have hundreds there, and I have thousandths right here, that's that seven there. So I'm gonna say TH for thousands, hundreds, tens, and then I have my decimal point there, ones, and then I have tens, not tenths, but that's tens, it's a little bit different. Let's look, let's just start adding this up. So 2.3, so I'm gonna put my decimal point right here, right in line with the one up here. I have two ones and three tenths. And let's just fill out these other place values for the different columns here, just to make it so that it looks good. 5.68 or 5 and 68 hundredths. So again, 5, decimal point, 6, 8, 0. So what this does, it makes sure that I'm, I'm getting everything in those columns in the right place. So 21 and 47 thousandths, put it here, 2, 1, decimal point, 0, four, seven for my line. And I'm adding all of that up. I'm thinking it's going to be close to 29. Let's see if I'm close. So zero plus zero plus seven is seven. Eight plus four is 12. So I do two and carry that one over. Three and six is nine plus that one is 10. So it's a zero, which so 10, 10 tenths is just one, one whole. So one plus two is three, plus five is eight, plus one more is nine, and two here. Bring down that decimal point. See how that just kept everything lined up? And my estimate is very close to what that is. So it's, I did pretty well on that. I, I was If I would have gone on to 2.5, it probably would have been it would have been a little higher than this so it's still close it's within tolerance and it's actually closer than if i rounded that up which i didn't because i went wait a minute that's a three instead of a uh, five okay let's evaluate the next problem so number two i have eight and 54 hundredths plus three and 46 hundredths minus six and 749 thousandths i'm going to say this is 8.5 this is just for my estimate, 3 plus 3.5. And then I have 6.75. If I want to do that, I can do that. Or let's say 6.8. I'm just going to say 6.8. Okay. I'm going to subtract that. So that's 11. That's 12. Minus 6 is going to be 6. Minus 0.8 is going to be 5.2. 
Let's see if I'm close with that. So 5.2, that's my estimate. So notice I'm doing some mathematics in my head. If you want to come over here and do 8.5 plus 3.5, okay, and you're going to add that up, that's going to be one whole, so that's a zero. And 9, there's going to be 12.0. And I'm going to subtract from that 12.0, 6.8. I have to borrow some tenths, so that's going to be 1. That's going to be 10 there, minus 8. So 10 tenths minus 8 tenths is going to be 2 tenths. 11 minus 6 is 5. So 5.2, look at that. See, I, I did it in my head, but if you still need to write it out, write it out. Let's plug in these numbers. Well, first, what we need to do is add all of this up and then subtract because that's because that's PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. We have parentheses. We have exponents and then multiplication and division is just whichever comes first starting from the left to right and same thing here for addition and subtraction it's the same level so we start doing it left to right and here there's no parentheses there's no exponents so we just start from left to right because they're that's at, at the same level which is addition and subtraction. Again, I want to uh, look at the decimal points here. So I'm out to the thousandths. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and point my decimal point there. So I have 8.54. So 8.54. And since I know I'm going to the thousandths, I'm going to put a zero in there eventually. So 3.46. So 3.46. We're adding that up and oh, put that zero in there. So we have zero thousandths, zero hundredths, because I'm going to bring that over here, and zero tenths, because six tenths plus four tenths is ten tenths, which makes one whole. So I have 11 and 12. So 12 and 2.00. So I'm going to write six point seven four nine and just a reminder I'm subtracting so I'm gonna have to borrow from each side so I'm gonna borrow ten tenths that's gonna be ten tenths but that's actually gonna be nine because I have to borrow some more over here same thing that's nine hundredths and I have ten thousandths minus nine thousandths it's gonna be one nine minus four is five nine minus seven is two Bring in that decimal point, and I have 11 minus 6 is going to be 5, so 5.25. So 5.25, my answer right here, that is really close to my estimate of 5.2. Let's continue. Again, we have PEMDAS, so we do please excuse my dear aunt Sally and I always put these lines like this it's just a re as a reminder of what I need to do first second third and that these are at the same level here multiplication division and addition and subtraction so we have eight and one hundredths minus and then there's we have this parentheses so we have to do that first so this is going to be first and then we do this I'm going to put the 2 over the subtraction. So we have to figure this out first. And then we're going to subtract that from this number here. Let's say, let's take a look. So we have 2.2 or 2 .2 plus 4.67. Since I go out to the hundreds on both sides, so I'm going to just do here 7, 6, decimal point. Okay, there's that 4, 2.2. I always just fill in that place value there. I just like doing that. It makes it look cleaner. I'm going to add it. So 7, 6.2 is 8. 4 and 2 is 6. Remember to bring down that 
decimal point, so I have 6.87. So I'm going to take this number here, 8.01, I'm just going to drop it down here. So I have 1, 0, here's my decimal point, 8, and then 6.87, I'm going to plug that in right here. So there's 7, 8, and 6. Make sure I put in that decimal point. And I'm subtracting. Again, I need to borrow over here. So that's going to turn into 7 minus 6, 9, because I'm borrowing from there to bring it over here. So 11 minus 7 is 4 hundredths. 9 tenths minus 8 tenths is 1 tenth. Bring down my decimal point. And 7 minus 6 ones is 1. So I have my answer is going to be 1.14. I can circle it here. Let's do the same over here. We're working on this parentheses first. There's no multiplication to do right now yet. But notice here, that's not a decimal. Hmm. Or is it? So we're subtracting this from that. So I have to have this larger number. It's going to be up there, but I have to go out to the thousands. So I'm going to have, and I only have a tenth, so I have a zero thousandths, zero hundredths, two tenths decimal. 9, and I'm subtracting at 1.413, put my decimal point there, and 1, I'm going to subtract. Again, I have to look at this and go, wait a minute, what's going on? So I, I'm going to borrow that, that's going to make a 1, 9, because I'm borrowing, I could make it a 10 and then switch to a 9, but I'm just saying it's 9 there. 10, so 10 thousandths minus 3 thousandths is 7 thousandths. 9 hundredths minus 1 hundredths is going to be 8. And wait, I have to borrow again over here, so because that's only 1 tenth minus 4 tenths. I can't do that. So I have to borrow 10 tenths, and I'm going to put it over here. Make that 11 tenths minus 4 tenths is going to be 7 tenths. Put my decimal point there. Eight ones minus one one is seven ones. So that's what I have here for it. It's going to be 7.787. Since I'm adding, I can just put in, just add it to it. So I'm going to add to that. So zero, zero, zero. Those are just placeholders there for that four and five. See how I did that? So it doesn't go all the way over. It's not uh, 87 plus 54 here. I have to put in those placeholders, which are zeros, to make it so that it brings this out over here where that decimal point is, and then 4 and 5. Okay, add it up. So I'm, I'm going to do it down here. 7, 8, 7, decimal point. That's going to be... 11, so I have 1 tenths and 1 ones. 1 ten plus 5 tens is 6 tens. So here's my answer is 61.787. Notice how I did the PEMDAS to get this done first. So parentheses came first, and then I just started back over here for that addition. Now, with number 5, we have a word problem. Let's read this together. The average annual rainfall in Oceanside is 10.28 inches. This year to date, 7.03 inches fell. How much less rain fell this year so far than falls in an average year? Let's set it up. We start out with 10.28. And that's the average rainfall in inches. And this is also in inches, so I'm going to subtract my subtract sign there, 7.03, so 8 hundredths minus 3 hundredths is 5 hundredths, 2 tenths minus 0 tenths is still 2 tenths, and 10 minus 7 is 3. And I can just put in here inches as well. But are we done? No, you need to write this out. So let's take a look as it's written out. So what I typed out here, and I got everything out of here. So this year so far, 
this year so far. So here we go. This year so far, 3.25 inches less, because that is definitely less because we subtracted, has fallen year to date in Oceanside. So this year to date. It's right there. So you can get all these pieces out of the question to answer it properly. You don't have to just think up these words. They're already in there. Just reformat it to what the answer that you need to write down. Okay, let's read number six. And if you notice, there's an A and B. So this is a two-parter. So we have multiple parts that, of things that we need to do. Let's evaluate it. Ellie fills her backpack with 1.49 kilograms of apples. 0 0.16 kilograms of cheese and a water bottle that weighs 1.21 kilograms. How heavy are the contents of her backpack? So that's A. Well, let's take a look at B. During Ellie's day hike, she eats one apple that's 0 0.44 kilograms and two slices of cheese that weigh 0 0.019 kilograms each and she drinks exactly half of her water. How heavy are the contents of her backpack now? So we're going to be doing some addition, some addition, and then some subtraction. So it's like it's like three steps here. Well, let's take a look at what we need to do. So Ellie fills her backpack, and she has 1.49 kilograms, another 0 0.16 kilograms, and then another 1.21 kilograms. So we need to add all of that together to get how heavy the contents or the total, I'm going to say total weight, so to, or total kilograms, T-O-T-K-G. So 1.49, 1.49, next is 0 0.16, so that's 0, and notice how I'm putting that decimal point right underneath that other one, 1, 6. Because it's and all of these weights are the same. It's all they're all kilograms and 1.21 for that water bottle. So 1.21. We're adding that together to get the total contents of her backpack. So I have 9 plus 6. That's going to be 15. 16. So I put the 6 here. Carry that one over here. 1 plus 4 is 5. 6. 7. 8. Tenths. And then I have 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 2.86 kilograms. Okay. You should write it out because that's what they're asking me. How heavy are the contents of her backpack? So this is what I wrote. The contents of Ellie's backpack weigh 2.86 kilograms. So I got that 2.86 right here. And it says here the contents of her backpack. So the, in her, I just replaced that with Ellie. And you have to understand that these are weights. Let's look at part B. During Ellie's day hike, she eats one apple. That's 0 0.44 kilograms. So she eats one. I just want to put this little marks around that. Apple. Two slices of cheese that weigh that much each. And she drinks exactly half of her water. How heavy are the contents of her backpack now? We have one apple, so we know that that's what that weighs. So I'm going to put this over here, 0 0.44. And we know that's the apple. I'm just going to put an A there for that apple. But wait, we have two slices of cheese. So I have to double this up. I can multiply it, my two, or I can just add it up. So let's just add that up, 0 0.019. Plus 0 0.019. I'm adding that up, and this is for the cheese. So 9 plus 9 is 18. See, I'm doing that, keeping my columns here. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is that's going to be 3. So I have that's 3 hundredths and 8 thousandths and 0 there. Decimal point and 0. So I have my, I'm going to put down a C for the cheese. So I have 0 0.038, trying to keep these all in line. And then it says here she drinks exactly half of her water. 
Okay, now we have to figure out what is half of this here, 121 uh, kilograms for the water, because that's what we're at. She drank half of it. We only have half left, so it's probably going to only weigh half the amount. We're going to do this, 1.21. We're going to divide it by 2. Now, what I would do is I would put my decimal point there. I would look at it and go, okay, well, can I divide 1 by that? Nope, 0. There's my decimal point. Can I divide 12 if I just take that? Yes. So there's 6. Get 12. Okay. That's 0. And then I have 1 again. Can I divide anything by that? No. I have to put a 0 here. And then add a 0 over here to come down. What times 2 is 10, so that's going to be 5. So now this is how much the water weighs right here. So I'm going to say water is 0 0.605. I'm going to add all that together. Do I have four any thousandths in here? No, I'm going to put a 0 just as a placeholder. So 0 plus 8 plus 5. 8 plus 5 is 13. So that gives me a hundred and three thousandths. One plus four is five, plus three is eight. There's no down there. And then I have four and six, that's going to be ten, zero, decimal point. And then right here, so it's 1.083. Now how do we answer the question? Because this is not the, the complete answer. We're not done yet here. Okay, so here's our answer. This is what your teacher is going to be looking for. After Ellie eats and drinks, the contents of her backpack weighs 1.083 kilograms. That answers everything. So it's after she eats, sorry, she eats something, she drinks something, and then this is what it weighs. So notice how many steps we had to go through. We had to first find out the total of when she started. We had to come over here and figure out you know, what does all of this weigh after she eats and drinks. So she ate an apple and two slices there. So we have those two slices of cheese. We put it there. Here's that apple for that, uh, what it weighed. And then also the weight of the water, which we determined by dividing it in half. Now, in reality, we'd have to look at the weight of the bottle and all this other stuff. But I'm just making an assumption that it's going to be negligible, and we put it here, and this is what we're going to get. If you're unsure about some of the mathematics that I've shown here or the terminology, please go back into my YouTube channel here. Do a search on one of the terms, because most of the time I went through and I looked at all the vocabulary I used. I put that as a keyword or something in there for the search, and you can go in there and find exactly what you're looking for. Remember, practice, practice, practice. Create your mathematics dictionary where you can write down words, definitions, and have examples. Thank you for watching Mr. Woods Teaches. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Watch me correct my mistakes on TikTok at Mr. Woods Teaches. Till next time, remember to be a math person. All you have to be is a person that does math.